I'm here at the Etihad and there's a group of Manchester City fans out in protest. Now, as you can imagine, they're not unhappy with the football inside of things at the minute. They're second in the Premier League behind Chelsea and last night they qualified for the last 16 of the Champions League. So these guys are out in protest to ask the club board to pay all the staff here the living wage. Now Chelsea have this morning announced that they're going to pay their staff the living wage. Nearly we caught up with a few of the guys here to see why this is so important to them. Right, we're here as City fans in the freezing weather today to call on our club to do the right thing and make sure all staff are paid a living wage of £7.85 an hour now. Right, we've got hundreds of people, that most of us live around this area, that work here on match days uh, and they're only on the minimum wage and what we're saying at the club is, come on, we've got money to pay, huge wages to top players, can we not see some of that going to the pockets of people? that live around here and that really, really need the money at the moment. This passionate group have battled through the freeze in Manchester weather today, awaiting a response from a City Club representative. Alas, it did not come. Chelsea have showed their leaders both on and off the pitch by today becoming the first Premier League club to sign up to the living wage. And it's time for clubs like Manchester City to follow.